So for this update video, I'm just going to go through kind of some of the stuff that's been happening. Now again, it's making slow progress, unfortunately, um, just because I had to redo the main controller like twice. Um, so now the actual main controller is, is mounted on a tray that's glued into the lower housing of the, uh, the head housing of the, for the lights. And, you know, you can see it's pretty busy in there with all the harnesses. But um, everything is in place. The thing that's missing so far to complete this is the um, brake sensors, which are not on there and not designed yet. So that's what's coming up next. And um, I've been testing some of the uh, circuits to make sure they're all functional. So as far as I know, everything is good to go. It's just waiting the brake sensors to, to be installed. Um, so, yeah. I haven't done much of the firmware code so far. Um, it requires some uh, rewriting of stuff I have already. The plan is to do a super loop, um, which means that there can't be any blocking uh, functions going on. So you can't wait for anything to occur. It has to pull, check to see if something's done or not, and keep going and check the next thing. If you don't do it that way, then very quickly, you're gonna run into problems trying to control a motor over cam. And there's a little you know, switch box for our lights. And I actually programmed this up just to be able to have this pulse if I want to have it sit pulse. And you know, I just have to hold the, the switch on for a couple seconds for that to kick in. And I also, just for testing the, the main contactor, so that's a 20 amp contactor, uh, which is going to separate the battery from the main controller. So it is uh, working. And that's what I was using up here. This will be my speed governor button eventually. This is the horn. <coughs> So yeah, we're, uh, we're moving along. I have to relocate the horn, unfortunately, to the front. And I haven't actually, I've just got it sitting there at the moment. But uh, I'm going to be making a housing for this. And uh, so you're not going to be able to see it as much. And hopefully it'll look a lot slicker when it's uh, all done. But uh, yeah, so that's functional. So everything is running off of... Everything's running off of two switchers internal here. So one is down converting the 48 volts to 12 and one is converting, uh, down converting to five. And so the 12 volts is used for the headlights, for the horn and for the contactor. And the five volts is used for powering the microcontroller and all sensors that are located on here. Um, I also have the uh, speed sensor installed as well. So. Again, like there's tons of sensors that actually get installed here and not having all that wiring going all the way down and into the, the motor bay and battery bay really makes it a lot cleaner installation. So the coming weeks coming up, uh, hopefully I'll have the brake sensors figured out and uh, you know, I'll do something quick to just sort of go over how that was done. Thanks for watching.